I'm going to give you a little treat today. I'm going to do all the calculations by hand. Rainey's in the lead with 9600, Evan's in second with 7200, and Kelly's in third with 6600. So we start with Rainey and Evan. Rule number one, Evan doubles up, he'll have 14,400. So to cover this, Rainey will need to wager Four thousand eight hundred. That's her minimum wager, and we'll move that over to the main sheet. Now for rule number two. What will Rainey have if she gets it wrong with that wager? No more than forty-eight hundred. So to stay above this, Evan will want to wager at most. 2,400. That's his maximum wager. Now for rule number three, and we look at the difference between their two scores. It's going to be 2,400. That's an unsafe wager for Rainey, but it is safe for Evan, so that'll become his new minimum wager. Keep an eye on this, we'll return to it later. Now we look at second and third, Evan and Kelly. Kelly doubles up. She'll have 13,200. So Evan will want to wager at least 6,000. That's his new minimum wager. If Evan gets it wrong, he'll be left with no more than 1,200. So to stay above this, Kelly can wager, at most, 5,400. And we'll move that over to the main sheet. For rule number three, the difference between these two scores is 600. Kelly can safely make that her new minimum wager, so we'll do that. Now notice one other thing. If Evan makes an unsafe wager and gets it right, he'll have 7,800. So to cover this, Kelly might want to wager 1,200. And we'll move that over to the main sheet as a question for now, in case it's something we can do safely. Finally, Kelly and Rainey, third and first. We know that Rainey's going to wager 4,800. So if she gets it wrong, she'll be left with 4,800. To stay above this, Kelly can wager, at most, 1,800. That's her new maximum wager, and we'll move that over to the main sheet. We'll also see now that the 1200 wager is safe, and that Evan's alternative wager of 2400 is forced if he doesn't want to cover Kelly. Now since Evan is forced to wager 2400 under one circumstance, we return to each individual game to see if there are other ways that the players can wager. Against Rainey, if Evan gets it right, he'll have 9600. So to match this, Rainey will just need to wager zero. Now I'll move this over to the sheet for now. But notice that Rainey has two opponents, Evan and Kelly, that could both overtake her if she wagers zero. That's too risky. If Evan gets it wrong, he'll have 4,800. So to stay above this, Rainey would need to wager at most 4,800. And we'll move that over to the main sheet. That's her new maximum. But notice 
that 4800 is also her minimum. So she has to wager 4800. Now for Evan and Kelly. Evan gets it wrong with that 2400 wager. He'll be left with 4800. Seen a lot of 4800s today. Stay above that, Kelly will need to wager at most 1800. That's already her maximum because that's what Rainey would have if she got it wrong. Now if Evan gets it right and wagers 2400, he'll have 9600. If Kelly wants, if she's confident in the category, she might want to cover this. That's at least 3000. Now the risk is she'll lose if she's wrong most likely. One more thing you might notice is because Rainey's going to wager to tie, Evan might want to go for everything. And in the end, Evan did go for everything, but got gypped out of a tie because Rainey wagered the extra dollar. It's not the safest wager she could have done. Kelly also went for broke, which is understandable in this situation. So what's the trick here? Well, if you think back to part two, you want to put these two scores into a ratio, 7200 divided by 9600 is equal to 3 over 4. This is a wager to tie scenario. If Evan realized that, kudos to him. But unfortunately, Rainey didn't, and he's going home. 